question Tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills Always 50-50 in relationships The shoes on Hello society, if you are returning, y'all already know I appreciate y'all for the continuous support. If you are new here, definitely, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. You are going to want to subscribe after you see this video. It's a little bit overdue, I know. Don't beat me up y'all. Um, and I'm still not quite completely 100% ready i would say to show but if i don't show you guys the updated esthetician room tour now uh who knows because i'm always changing something and you guys know we always a creative you always get new ideas you always want to add something you always want to tweak something so for the most part i'm pretty okay 90 percent of what where everything is right now what it looks like so we're not gonna make this long and drawn out intro um, but anywho, my name is Siobhan Michelet. I'm a licensed esthetician here in North, the state of North Carolina. And I've done an esthetician room tour before. So if you didn't catch it, I'll put a little card here and you can click it on the screen or here. And um, watch my first one and then you'll see why this is a big difference. Um, so yes, let's jump right into the updated esthetician room tour. I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, you guys know everything will be listed in the description box. Let's go. I'm excited. Okay, you guys. So we're going to start from the entrance back to the entrance. So we're just going to go all the way around. So obviously here is the door. This is the entrance to the room. Um, as you can see, I have these curtains, obviously. And also the door just helps. And the little sticky tabs on the end of the door for... Um, guests to and myself obviously to put my things I typically had willing while in service I typically have these closed um, so it just looks like this so this is what it looks like as soon as you come in so you guys can see I have the window open so you guys can see um i mean the curtains open so you can see how bright and airy it can be in here once that's open when i'm in service though i have that closed obviously because then people will be able to see my clients and no i do a lot of waxing so no all right so let's start out with this section over here Okay, so first we have my towel warmer. Um, this is a UV towel warmer and this one is, let me show you, UV towel warmer. And this one um, is uh, from Amazon. And as you can see, it has the two rows, which I need because I <laughs> the little one row was not gonna work for how many um, tiles and stuff I actually need to warm and I'll show you the little UV light you can see it once you about to close the door because it only works when you close the door but I love it it's really one of the best things hopefully hold on there you go you can see it a little bit better like that and so I have these utensils here um, and so I have these utensils here because I already disinfected these um, put them in like barbicide and everything and I need to sanitize them so I will place these in here when I'm done for the end of the day so yeah this like I said is off Amazon at first I didn't like it because I thought it wasn't getting hot enough but I realized I just was impatient and I wasn't waiting long enough for it to actually warm up and it gets really hot so I love this so much I've been using this obviously since day one so this hasn't changed about my room tour if you watch my first room tour and um the Amazon link will be in my description if you guys are interested in this but it's a really good towel warmer okay so up top of the towel warmer i have my um temperature head temperature gun and i kind of just recently stopped doing temperatures but 
uh, like a few months ago but I was really doing them when every person uh, basically came into the door obviously because COVID was like in its prime so yeah and then this is my Bluetooth speaker I got this from five below um, and I don't know if they still have it but I'm pretty sure they do if I can find any type of link or I don't even know if they have online I would definitely put it though but it works really good in this room like if you worry about like sound and like if, if it not being loud enough or something like that but it works good and it's loud um, and I meant to tell you this is from Amazon and then this is my sanitation tray this is where I put Barberside and But yeah, this is where I, you can see it a little bit, but this is where I put my utensils once I've done using them. Um, and I love this tray. This is so much better than the other Barberside tray. It just, it is. Okay, then up here I have some bowls that I use and uh, silicone bowls as well. Uh, Amazon, Amazon. I will link them below. This is obviously for water, mask, and all of that stuff that I do. This is my uh, certificate of completion from school. I went to Aveda and that just says I completed my 600 hours of esthetician program at Aveda Institute, Chapel Hill. Shout out to my Chapel Hill alumni. And then right here, um, I took it down because I needed to get a new frame, but is my esthetician license, which you guys know is a smaller, well here in North Carolina, it's a much smaller frame but it the color didn't match so i needed to get a black one <laughs> but that's where my esthetician license will go and then up here let me back up and then up here is my shelf floating shelf if you're wondering how i have basically all this on there and if it's sturdy but i wanted a floating shelf i just love what this does to this wall because i knew i was gonna <clears throat> because i knew i was gonna have something here possibly but i just didn't want a ton of i don't know i just knew i wanted a floating shelf <laughs> and so i got a floating shelf and then um put the little brackets up under here and this is from lowe's okay i'm not sure if i can link the shelf but if i can of course i will put it below um for you all so let's start i already told you guys this is just um by the way i got all these from amazon so this is in a um ingrown extractor these are tweezers for lashes and then this is the trimming shears i use for if i need to trim them for brazilian and all of these things work really good i've not i have not switched i've always used the same ones i've gotten from amazon because i've haven't um had a problem with them so i will link those um, and then this up here is like my waxing station, basically. <laughs> so these I'm obsessed with. I know if you see my last vlog, you would know that I recently just got these from, um, cause all of this was different. So this is totally different from what it used to look like. Um, but I got these from Target and this is where I keep my waxing sticks because it's actually a lot easier for me to just take them out of here. Um, here are some exfoliating pads, cotton rounds, whatever you want to call them. And then here are some 4x4s. Four four and these things I grab the most. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's why I wanted to get kind of like a big glass thing for display up here for those. And I love these so much so far. It's like a um, soft close, but it's sealed and so i love it so much and it goes obviously with my aesthetic and my colors in here because you guys know that the brown that nice rich brown is my colors <laughs> one of my colors rather and then this is just a, a space heater or fan um if i need to control the temperature in the room like if it's too cold i can put the heat on and it warms up really toasty uh, especially during a facial they don't like to be cold so obviously you want it to be a little bit more toasty and then if it's too hot especially when i'm waxing and you need the room to be a lot cooler um, for the wax to dry then i put the fan um setting on so it has all those settings and I don't know where that's from. I got that from a friend, but if I find something similar, I will put it in the description for sure. And then next is my little wall where I hold my, um, I can't even think of the name of it. <laughs> um, 
you guys know what this is, but I can't think of the name of it right now, but clipboard duh <laughs> yeah this is where i hold my clipboard so i could just pick that up right away um to put my consent form on if i'm doing um paper consent because i'm starting to switch over to virtual and yeah it's just easier for me to have it hang it and grab it all right so let's move down here so this shelf um if you've been following me you know is new <laughs> recently and i'm obsessed with it and I actually like the sliding more than I like the cap, the pullout. I don't know why, I just do. Now, I love that this is an off-white type of color because it matches so perfectly, if you guys can see, with my colors and aesthetic in here already because it's not white, white, white because I already have a lot of other white stuff. So I didn't want it to be too washed out. I want the room to have a little character, but still minimal because if it's too much, then it makes me stir crazy. So it actually is like a white beige eggshell -y <laughs> nudie color because it goes perfect with my bed. So this is from Amazon and um, it, it's very easy as you guys can see. I can actually move the doors any way I want. So this door can come behind or you see so and it moves very easy um but in here if you guys were following me you know all of this i used to have exposed here and it was a different shelf here it was like a silver shelf and i just used that because um i didn't buy a specific one for this suite when i moved in it was just one i had at home and so i was just keeping the cost down with something and using it when i first moved in because you guys know in the beginning budget's low and you just want to <laughs> cut costs where you can and just know the more you make and the more experience you have and you know what to get and how you want your spa suite to look then you start to upgrade little things so this was my upgrade and i love it now look how much organized this looks compared to what it used to look like <laughs> if you remember and these little baskets i got from target but they're also available at walmart but i will obviously put the links um below so here i keep all of my disinfection stuff and cleaning stuff so you guys see i got a ton of cavi wipes i keep these because this is like the main thing i use this is what you use the most in between clients really quick to like clean stuff wipe everything down then i have some barbicide here um i have the little spray bottle here if you want to make it a spray put it into a spray version and then i also have the cavicide spray here as you guys can see this is a spray bottle so this is important <laughs> go buy this now very important for your spa okay and then this is what i was talking about about the barbicide tray like if you decide to disinfect this way i don't like it i don't like them going in here because they bend your utensils in here and it, it's just no i don't like it I just, I'd rather use the sanitize uh, I'd rather use the sanitation tray that I showed you guys above so here is my cleansers here are my uh, moisturizers and mask I'm actually doing a clean out of cleansers and what's old what's new so a lot of this stuff is a little bare because I'm like trying to make sure that you pay attention to dates and every when you need to like get rid of stuff skincare and all of that and you're not using like old skincare on clients very important you guys so you need to refresh your skincare every now and again when it says so that's what i'm doing and here are my um peels serums and uh that's it peels and serums um <laughs> And on this side, so on this side, this tray is just like a sample tray. So it's just, I still have a lot of little samples in here. And this is a handheld mirror. Here is some gold revitalizing um, eye mask treatment. So I'll have like little treatments here or extra masks that are, that were bigger for the um, tray. Um, here is some sunscreen. I only use two types of sunscreen, so this will always be by itself. And um, that's Black Girl sun Sunscreen and Circadia Light Day Sunscreen. They're, those are the only two that I actually use. And then every now and again, I might use Super Goop. But for the most part, on my clients, Black Girl and Circadia. 
some of the best. You can find this sunscreen on my website in my description. Here are some enzymes. Lemon zest enzyme is my favorite. You guys know I rave so much about this because it's honestly the best sun, um, enzyme. I'm going to say sunscreen. It's just the best. It works so good on brightening facials, um, aging facials, anything that you need to like even their skin, skin tone, brighten their skin and it just works really good and then here's raspberry peach enzyme this is a good entry level enzyme this is going to be good for your clients that um you're not used to their skin you don't want to put nothing on them too harsh but you still want the effects of an enzyme exfoliation use raspberry peach uh, skin script is the best so you guys definitely go sign up for them to get some products from them and then i have more enzymes three more that I actually use because I only use like five that I really love from them but they were old so I threw them away <laughs> so these are my fresher ones so again remember make sure you are um, trashing old enzymes for sure because these depending on which ones they are have like a three month expiration date uh, especially the lemon zest so don't keep old enzymes now down here Let's move to the bottom shelf. This is the extra tray for anything that I might need. Like I said, I probably will have more skincare or whatever it is that I decide to organize right here. But for the most part, I just love that it's all so organized. <laughs> so here are my baggies, retail baggies. These are my small ones. These are my large ones. And that is for my retail station right here. Um, if they buy anything, and then here are just extra stuff. These are my J roller cases. This is extra cornstarch for waxing. These are extra mask, bag of mask. And then um, here's just extra little stuff too. These are like the um, um, heads that go onto my steamer brush thing. I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. And then here is some spoolies extra spoolies i got just extra extra lash stuff in here obviously and that's pretty much it i just put little extras i think it's like some extra lip wands yes yeah, some extra lip wands in here just little extra stuff and i love these things it keeps it organized and they link as you can see they connect in any way you stack them so i love that for me <laughs> all right so on top of the shelf this i'm obsessed with i've had it forever i got it from walmart and um, i will link it i have some lashes here i have some more lashes here um it's just easier for me to grab it from here and i like that it was nothing that i needed to stand on its own i wanted something that could go on top of the the thing so i didn't need any more floor space and then here is some ombre brow stuff like what I use for my ombre brows. And then here are my iPads that I use for my lashes. So I got a ton of those. And those you put under their eyes. Here is my Wi-Fi sign, which I never actually write the Wi-Fi on there. I just say what it is. And then this little station is just like for my clients mostly. So most of the time they put their keys and stuff here or whatever phone if they don't want to like put it over there. Most people come and just lay it here. Um, and I love this freaking tray. Look how beautiful this tray is. I got it from Walmart or Target. But look how perfectly it just goes with everything. Like details matter to me. So like this and this and this and the gold here and the same brown here so like yeah that matters <laughs> in here and then this little bow is like and then this little bow is like the bomb i just don't understand how this matches so perfectly but i got this also from walmart or target so these are some cards um i print them from vista print because i know a couple of you asked where i get my cards from yep and this is a qr code so that they can i suggest you do qr codes so they can just put their camera over it and go right to your website um i usually have peppermints or kisses in here i have kisses in here now just because it's march and valentine's day we were in the spirit around here so 
yes kiss pink chocolates <laughs> um and i'll switch in the peppermints probably soon um i have some extra hand sanitizer here which i'm obsessed with because it smells like passion fruit and it works really good hold on let me get it to focus so yeah then i have just some hand sanitizer here for them um or me but mostly for the guests and i love it it smells like passion fruit and also oh i forgot to put my extra mask i put like extra mask here too for them too if they need an extra mask um but you guys just saw my mask in there and these are these used to be up here if you remember i need these for um i still needed them but i needed them just more for guests so like say they need extra little lip wands or micro swabs to clean off their lashes or for whatever reason a lot of them use the small two by twos so those are two by twos and then in here spoolies which a lot of people take or use if they need one or two when they're done with like lashes or something or for whatever service so that's easier for them to just go ahead and take from there so yeah that is this whole little section and I'm already tired of talking. <laughs> All right. Now, this um, is my Star Peel 5 pound wax pot. I used to have a two um, pot dual like wax pot, it, but it was too small, which I still have and I use in my training room. So if you're new here, you guys, I have a separate suite and that suite is mainly for my academy, which is training. So I put that wax pot in there and it works perfect for that room. I use it's how wax white chocolate you guys know if you know you know i will rave about them no i'm not sponsored but they are the best wax and i'll have it linked below um i'll have this also obviously linked below but you guys know this is my rolling wax tray so this is the perfect thing so like this is all i do when i'm ready to wax and if i need to move it <laughs> wherever I can move it. And so it has everything on here, boom, which I don't need anything else. So what I do is I pull my sticks and gloves and all of that stuff and I sit it here and I lay another um, dental bib. That's what these are because they soak up everything so it's no mess. But I use, I put that here and I put my tweezer, my trimmers and then exfoliation pad here and I'm like set to go. Um, so yeah, Star Peel Wax Pot, which is an investment, but it's worth it. It's like $200, but I promise you it's worth it. Here is my Satin Smooth set and it's always worked for me. So I've never changed. I know Sarah Peel, I believe has a good one, but this works good. So you guys can go ahead and try it out. But here is my Satin Smooth Satin Cleanser. So this is what I use first step when I'm about to wax them to cleanse them off. This is the Satin Smooth Satin um, Aloe or Satin Cool. You use this to cool their skin after, you know, they gotten red and irritated rather. Um, that aloe really does cool their skin. And then this one is my Holy Grail. This is the Satin um, Release, but this is the Satin Smooth Hold on. it's not focusing very good but it's also you know the last step for um moisturizing once you're finished with their wax and so it leaves their skin looking amazing and then back here you guys know i use cornstarch instead of um powder for many reasons obviously health reasons medical reasons talc <laughs> reasons chemical whatever i use cornstarch it works amazing if not better now on the bottom of my wax cart i have um garbage bags because if you wax you know you know you have to constantly change the bag out it's easier for me to grab tie a bag grab a bag put you know fill my um garbage again i have gloves because i use a ton of gloves when i'm waxing so it's easier to just pull them um wipes because you guys need to have a pack of wipes for your guests to sit on the bed so that they can wipe their self and be comfortable before you even start waxing like when you step out the room here are just some extra tissues um and i just put that there you know just in case <laughs> and then here's some aquaphor ointment 
and I love this stuff if you need to actually like treat anything or heal I mainly use this for brows and stuff but you can also you know use this for other things and um this tray the actual rolling cart is from Ta Walmart so I no this is from Amazon so I'll link this tray I mean this rolling cart below all right so there you have it and then this is just a basket i got from walmart to throw my dirty laundry in okay all right so moving on to the next section i need to take a drink of water <laughs> because this is a lot to tell you guys and explain like every little thing we still got this whole section but we're getting through it all right now this part is my customer section and I'm just obsessed <laughs> because I wanted it to be a little like you guys got to get inspired by whatever that may be <laughs> your room your color whatever you going off of whatever you want your vibes and your aesthetic to be be inspired by that and really create some type of vibe basically in your room so if you're not excited about it then why would your clients be so i'm very excited every time i come into my room um so this section is not completely done this is mainly the one that i was talking about that i'm not 100 percent with but hopefully i will be able to figure it out but i would like to add something different i don't know maybe a table and you guys know i've been back and forth about this little like cabinet thing <laughs> cube thing here but i love it because of what like how it looks i just don't know if i prefer a table so we'll see that might be the only thing that may change in here drastically that literally that might be the only thing and then putting my signs in here because they're not in here yet so don't mind me <laughs> so up here this is from target this is from five below if you follow me you know i talked about when i bought these from five below i didn't even know they sold anything like this y'all it spins look at that you can spin it <laughs> it's so dope um and this is what um i will put my signs in every my customers already know what it is and what price it is because it came after i was already selling stuff you guys so I just haven't felt like the need to rush and do them because I mostly have regulars <laughs> clients. So, but I will, and it'll say like for here is going to say brow kit, um, and it'll say how much it is, um, like you know twenty dollars or whatever. But most of the time, I don't charge them for. I mean lash kit. I'm sorry, I said brow kit. Lash kit, like twenty twenty five dollars or something like that. And this is basically what these are it has i just gotta put my cards in here but it has like spoolies it has a brush to actually clean your lashes lash shampoo um and those cute little large black baggies to stay on color of my brand this actual um shelf or shelving i got from amazon and i'm obsessed with it i love it it's so cute um and it was easy to put up actually um and you guys probably saw me if you watched my vlog when i was putting this shelf up um these are for my brows so these come with like little why is it not focusing you know the focus is like really bad the focus is so bad i'm sorry but I love these. These are little aftercare cards for my clients who get micro shading brows, ombre brows. Because I do that if you didn't know, which are the semi-permanent brows. So it has a little take-home aquaphor treatment. It has some little things to put to apply the treatment. And then it has all the instructions on what you need to do, what to expect while your brows are healing. This little cute thing, uh, snake plant, which I believe is called, I got from Five Below. Um, it's so cute and it goes I just want it to be able to add a touch of whatever so the shelf doesn't look plain with just these boxes on it and then this box um, oh these came in a set by the way and I got these boxes from Walmart um, or these little draw um, 
whatever can't even think straw i said draw these little straw boxes they came from walmart here are my brazilian kits so you get a um glycolic which i believe you guys already know because i always talk about this and i sell these kits on my um well i sell the solutions on my website so you can go and check that out but this is a glycolic cleanser and then here it's not focusing on this one but this is the glycolic and retinol solution um to go with the kits and then an exfoliating glove in there that's all you need in between your waxes and i'm running low because these are a hot commodity here in my spa suite um so i have to put some more out basically um and these samples i got from skin script and they like i said are available in the description the next shelf is my skincare shelf and i got all of the brochures for my skincare for uh the ones that are from skin script specifically it explains everything they need to do it gives you a routine it even tells you what's in each um bottle depending on what you pick and what's best for your skin type i'm obsessed with skin script i just love them they are very thorough I, as you can see educational and their things work so if you're looking for a uh, entry-level skincare um to actually like use in your spa they're really good and affordable to start out and here are some because i'm currently actually stocking this so this is the cleansers these are the toners and these are the moisturizers and this is like what will be for sale and here is just like some extra um things brochures i have for the aftercare for the brows those are facial masks that i give complimentary i give them masks complimentary um they are burt's bees and they're like the hydrating mask in the uh, package and those are for new clients by the way that come get a facial they get a complimentary mask and then these are my wax uh, buckets that i gotta fill up and so i keep all my ital wax in there and then this is for extra wax um which i have the Sarah Peel essential rose that i wanted to try out and then this i use on the face which is star peel blue and i use these mainly for small areas because i don't like using it on anything else so those go in my small wax pots in the front in my other room and so yeah that's that section so you guys can see everything i'm obsessed with it all right moving on here is my little undecided area mainly just a table like i said so you guys know i use gloss genius as my booking app i'm obsessed with them and if you're not um using a booking app and already and you're like booking clients through i don't know dm text message or something definitely go with gloss genius you can um, get $30 off if you go ahead and a free trial if you go ahead and hit my link in the description and just try them out and see if you like them they are like the best I got this card reader if you reach out to them you can possibly get the complimentary card reader and this is to take any type of card which I love hold on let me take it out for you okay yeah it's so compact and it's so cute that's just the power button and you just go ahead you can use any card you can even use apple pay with this y'all and i know i use apple pay everywhere so it's easy <laughs> so i don't know how many other websites will allow you to do that but with gloss genius you can definitely do that i just keep it here here's my ipad um you know to, for them to use or check out or anything and this is a diffuser as you can see i got it to match my colors but you can put it on any color so if you buy it you can match it with your room colors even the white looks really good in here um i got this from walmart and i love that no i got this from amazon you guys i'm sorry and i love that it has the gold at the bottom because obviously it just matches my room <laughs> i got this little um pen holder from target and it was like maybe seven dollars or something like that 
um but i will link it below and then moving down i got the three towels as you can see those are just for aesthetic purposes um i just like how road towels look in a spot or even in a bathroom <laughs> and then i have and these towels came from amazon i got a pack of them so i will link them and then these lights come on i'm just not about to turn them on right now and they look really nice and dim like flickering um like a warm tone it's really cute i love them and obviously you can see white and gold it matches perfectly and i typically only do it through facial you know moments because it just makes sense not necessarily waxing i'm not trying to set the mood that's a little creepy <laughs> But when you get in a facial, yes, definitely set the boom. Now, this little cute, like, succulent fake plant. First of all, look how it sits. It's literally made like that. And it's the cutest thing. And it's literally perfect. I got this from uh, Walmart. Yes, I got that from Walmart. Um, here is just extra water. I use those waters to fill up my diffuser because you know you have to put water in there. So that's why those are there. And then here is my gold little fouling system. So for everyone who has filled out paper consents, um, this is where I keep them. Um, and you only have to fill them out once so by, by uh, first and last name. Um and you can see i got the little so cute look at this it goes black and gold they just match and then this one is black and gold but different a different type of pattern it's so cute and so i just keep that in there it's literally super easy for me to just put it in there because i'll take it from the, the clipboard the their papers and i'll just slip it right in there all right so here's my chair and little accent pillow these pillows i got from because i have two of them the other one is in my academy room but these i got from Lo oh, home Depot. i got them from lowe's actually and they are so cute they were like 30 dollars though but they are the cutest thing like because it for one look at it it's actually textured let me see if it'll focus yeah you can see it a little bit it's actually textured to the pillow like it's not just a regular smeggler pillow it's it's worth the money it's quality for sure and i just love that it implements all the greens <laughs> that i wanted to implement into my spa so it's like all in one it pulls everything together and then obviously i have this emerald really cute plush let me show you really wide enough you know to sit in is much bigger in person chair that i got from amazon it came in a set the other pair i mean the, the other chair is in my um other room and you can see it has the gold legs and the gold matches so I'll, that was perfect because i was worried about i was worried about if the gold match or if i was gonna have to spray paint it but luckily it matched here i just have extra tiles and linen and stuff um, and I got these like beige and gold um, storage cubes from Walmart. I wanted this to be bare as possible because all my stuff is mainly over here. So that's the only thing that's right there. Then I have my calendar. Today is March the 5th. And I love it because I check things off or add things if possibly if I need. So it's dry erase, which I keep my dry erase pen here. And obviously it's beautiful because it's gold and white and black. All my colors in one. <laughs> so I love it. I got this so long ago, y'all. Um, I got this when I opened my real estate office years ago. <laughs> And it just matched and I kept it so it was perfect. And it was like from Home Goods, I think. So I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, I will definitely link it. All right, so let's move on to this side. So I got, oh, and by the way, you guys, this floor is something we put in. So my fiance put in. So um, this wasn't here, it was carpet if you follow me. So this floor, was pretty expensive though it's like maybe four hundred dollars i would say maybe 380 something like that for like this little 10 by 
14 and um it came from lowe's i love it so much it's like the i can't think of it but it's like the the block where they connect basically flooring um and i'm obsessed with the floor all right so um okay so moving on to my steamer i don't really recommend <laughs> It's a good steamer, don't get me wrong, like it, I love it, it works, and it's from LCL Beauty, uh, but you can get it off Amazon, and it has all the attachments, this is the high frequency machine, and then it has the brush, this is what you attach the little brushes that I showed you in the cabinet with, this is the Maggie lamp that it has, I'll turn it on, you can see it works, it's very bright, boom, nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, it even has the ozone on it, obviously, um, to make the steam really like clean and powerful and have that oxygen in it. I only use it on the ozone. I love it. But the problem with this is it's very easily broken. And so if you guys can see right here, it's a little crack in it already. And then look here. It's a little crack in it already. And also this attachment never worked so this where it says brush it never worked since i bought it and so um when i reached out to them they act like they didn't want to they just have horrible customer service they act like you had to pay to send it in to have it fixed when it should have been corrected the first time or you can just buy the parts they'll send them to you and send you a how to do it type of um kit so that you can kind of do this fix it on your own and no <laughs> no i'm just not happening you should have this was 300 dollars basically it should have came right the first time why do i have to pay to do anything to even mail it to you no so we're gonna use it until it taps out but i don't recommend so i'm not putting that link below because i'm not suggesting anything or recommending anything to y'all that i do not like we're not doing that. So I will put another one in there that I do like that I used before. All right, moving up. These I got, they just go so perfectly and they add the little bit of pizzazz to this wall. I'm obsessed. And I got them from Walmart and it came in a set. Um, this part right here broke a little bit, but honestly, it just looks like it's kind of a part of it. Like that's a little opening, so I don't mind it. And, and, and these are actual mirrors hey y'all <laughs> and you guys know i graduated from aveda so i'm just representing some of the things that i actually love from them these are things that i actually use and it's only the things that i like <laughs> and i displayed them up here because it just made such a nice display for this wall i just trying to figure out what to do for this wall and um so i got all of these aveda supplies on back bar like when you're licensed basically and you try to go through um, someone who's a student or a teacher or whatever and you just get back bar prices so that's how I got these um, plant peel oh my god one of my favorites if you are a Veda person let me know how you feel about the plant peel but I love it and um, this I got from home goods if I can find it I will definitely link it that I got from Walmart is so cute with the little rocks in it. It's the cutest thing. And then here is my Welcome to Pure Beauty sign because you guys know this is Pure Beauty Aesthetics. I got this from Amazon. I will link it. It comes with a ton of letters to change it. And I change it often to say different things. And then here is a eucalyptus sage and rosemary um, candle called Tranquil. And honestly, that is. First of all, it's a good color and it's the best type of candle for um, this room <laughs> and it smells so good, but look how perfectly this wall is and these floating shelves, I'm honestly obsessed with floating shelves so <laughs> you can clearly see that, but I just feel like it does what it needs to do, <laughs> a floating shelf and it keeps things off the floor and it just looks good and these are very sturdy. Um, I haven't had not one problem for them from them and I've had them over a year and I got them from um, Home Depot Yep, and these are the ones where the bracket is inside of the 
this so it's open back here and you just slide it on very easy all right moving down doom 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 this is new this is new you guys you didn't well it's not new to me but it's new to you i don't believe i showed this on my channel this whole little section so here is my um beauty refrigerator mini i love it you guys obviously can see it has the light and this is an actual mirror it just brings so much light to this little section hold on i just feel like all of this right here is perfect and let's show you so i keep some by the way you can make this hot or cold or warm or cold and i like that so if you need to keep something warm i like it but i only use it for the cold obviously and i just have some extra gua sha utensils here some j rollers more gua sha stones and then some of my serums that i want to keep cool with like my hyaluronic acid and my vitamin c green tea serum from skin script my favorite this is my go-to because this is really cool and i like it so much it's so compact but it fits perfectly right here because i was trying to figure out where am i gonna put this refrigerator but when i realized wait a minute this is perfect i loved it and i got this from walmart y'all um but they have it on amazon too so i will link it below either store i'll see what's more affordable and then link it for you guys now next to it is my dun 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 <laughs> This is the dun dun dun. Yes. So this is a hydrodermabrasion machine. If you haven't heard of it. It is like the hydrofacial machine. But obviously it's not as I guess advanced as that one. I'm not sure. The difference that you guys know the hydrofacial is patent. So they are the only ones. The company that has the actual hydrofacial machine. And theirs is big and long. So this is you know the smaller version. And it does all of the little things i love it you can click whichever you may need whatever mode time all of this adjusted um how much water in the suction which um cartridge you're using so a you know b c and that you pick right here you pick which ones that you need to use um like cleansing and the serums and exfoliating toning all of that type of stuff and here are all the attachments so this is the oxygen attachment this is not focusing like at all hold on okay yeah i love the cold hammer because it just really intensifies everything and um calms your skin really good i love it or you can use the cold j rollers or ice globes but i like the cold hammer then this is a um, ultrasonic skin scrubber it comes on here and then this is the ultrasound one and then this is the obviously the attachment for the suction so guys hopefully you can see if it focused but that is what you use for the actual hydrodermabrasion process okay so i gotta hurry up my camera's about to die so here is my um dehumidifier when i'm doing lashes and, and it's too um too much moisture in the air i have to put on the dehumidifier if you do lashes you know this is just an extra jelly mask i have that i need to use this section is like my dermaplane stuff so Got some dermaplane stuff there and just extra little, you know, facial stuff. Um, the little goggles. And here is my attachments for my high frequency. And here is my micro shading uh, ombre gun pen I got from Amazon. I will link it. Here's just some extra little masks that I give. Jelly mask treatment types um, from Amazon. I will link it. Here is my handy dandy as you can see led light therapy if you can see it this is where it lights up this is from amazon i will link it below and then this one has the red blue and yellow colors on it um and that's all that's on here i wanted to keep this pretty clear so let's that's that and here is where i put all of my needles you guys know you have to dispose of needles in the proper um uh what i'm trying to say being being for them and that is for my um eyebrow needles here is my working cart and it stays right here next to me so i can just pull it up and work this is lash stuff um because i'm setting up for a lash client next this is lion lash 
shampoo I use. I use this for my glue. Some tape that I got from Amazon. These I got from Amazon. All this stuff I got from Amazon. Except this. This I got from um, Walmart. Some extra lash trays. That's my hygrometer I got from Amazon. I will link it. Okay, y'all. My camera died. So we have moved to the phone. And this actual cart I got from Amazon. I will link it, which is actually broken. And I need to just go ahead and order a new one. So that's why I have like um, my little ultrasonic thing sitting there. Skin, skin scrubber box sitting there to keep it up because the wheel actually fell out like their way to even put it back because it's like a big hole there it doesn't properly fit it so anywho that's something minor this is like 30 40 dollars and this tray i meant to tell you guys i got off amazon as well um this rolling cart so i will link that too um but down here is just hand sanitizer so i can use it right away when i'm sitting here and you know working some extra eyelash cleanser this is eye um gel remover for lashes i use lion lash but for my actual glue i use ruthie bell it's the best um so i will link it below here is easy to just pick these up those are my little lash um uh rings and i put the glue there here's my cellar cleanser water because i use this a ton for a lot of stuff <laughs> and um these are the little scoopers when i'm getting product out of something so i'm sanitary and i can dispose of it here's just little extra spoolies and stuff that i use while in service in this cup um which i gotta put some more here is for when i put product in there and i just want to use it out the cup here are like my extractor case a lot of extractor tools in there and lash tweezers these are my lash cases so i got a ton y'all and that's in there um and then down here is just some extra lash trays that didn't fit in my tray up there on the shelf these are my brushes i got i got this from school and i just keep it because it holds all my brushes um like fan brushes for a facial and then this is like little samples just extra little samples that i may give away or even use and i got this from target i think or walmart and then here are my dental bibs you guys know i use this on every single surface that there may be because it is the most sanitary and it doesn't spill and you can just pick it up and throw it away and then yeah this is my diamond microdermabrasion machine and it has all the little tools on it i love it i use that the most most people get regular microdermabrasion facials it really does wonders for your skin and i got that one off of amazon and then here are extra disposable um spa sheets or bed sheets or whatever you want to use them for the disposable wax sheets um look how cute this is together so like i said i got this um floor from uh what did i say lowe's or um lowe's or uh home depot and the wallpaper also the same my fiance did like when i say an impeccable job on this wall he did an impeccable job look how precise <laughs> this wall is and how he matched because you have to match this up <laughs> and he matched this up and this wallpaper is from lows which was like another three hundred dollars so it wasn't cheap either but i wanted something subtle and that would really go in this room and just tie things together and it really does and then this mirror dun 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 look how big it is it's the best mirror ever it's so cute and it matches obviously the coloring in here and this mirror actually uh came with the suite my uh landlord already had this mirror here in the suite and we were debating back and forth if I should keep it or not. And once the room finally kind of got put together, it was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it. It goes really well. So, yep, yeah, this is the mirror everybody looks at their self in, even me. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So, yep, love it. Need to clean it, but wipe it down. So, yeah, let's see. 
so then here is my chair here's my chair which is the best chair in the world i used to have a regular chair and it just was not going to cut it you guys know it takes the pressure it has the little lift here it takes the pressure off of a lot of your back and kind of like your legs from really losing circulation because of that the way that it is it's like 80 i think it was like 80 dollars or something six i don't know it's anywhere between 60 and 90 but i'll link it below this is from amazon and this is what i know you guys have been waiting for <laughs> the piece de resonance did i say it right y'all so this is my esthetician table esthetician chair esthetician massage bed i don't know because everybody names it something different but all of it is correct so this is my bed and um under here i normally keep extra wax rolls which i gotta go get in the room now because i just finished using it and here's where i put my actual wax paper that i always talk to you guys about and i've used before um and it just i love that it's had has this compartment here because i can literally put all of my things so like my little bolster for the legs a bolster for the arms head bolsters for my other massage bed is all in here this rug is from walmart and then this bed is from my landlord i bought this from her it was one of her massage beds because she's a massage therapist and it is honestly the best bed ever it's such an upgrade from the black one that i had the regular one that we all get in the beginning which worked fine but it's just no cushion and this one by it being so expensive <laughs> look at that it's like a cloud an electric bed which i've always wanted because you can lift it look it's moving the <laughs> You can do all of that and i will link a similar one um to this exact bed in the description below because i believe they have it off amazon oh i forgot my lamp so this lamp i got off amazon too and i like it because it was sleek it was like sleeker than the other options that i was seeing and i wanted something obviously look how that looks it looks good right it doesn't look bulky it just looks sleek and i still have the light because let me show you how many settings see it gets brighter and brighter lower dimmer you can change the color it can be studio light it can be natural light you can see it changing it's amazing so i love that and i'll link it below this i got off amazon and look at that it's so comfortable and this is mainly what i use for um my lash clients to lay on um yeah Okay, so I believe we covered all the bases here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and I will see you guys at the next video. Thanks again for watching.